This giant brick facade has just about survived the earthquake. The frescoes destroyed, the nave left in ruins. The Mirandola Cathedral has become a symbol for the destruction caused by the earthquake that struck the Emilia regions last year. Only firemen are allowed to enter the building. They're working to make it safe, as parts of it could crumble at any moment. But it's a race against time. The priest is certain that the cathedral won't survive another winter. This is our history, our identity. The cathedral has to be rebuilt quickly. It's just as important as working and earning money. Our roots are buried here. Treasured works of art also lie under the rubble. Rescued paintings and statues are being carefully restored in a laboratory in Modena. But it's too late for some. Like this statue of Madonna and her child. Laid out as if on an operating table. There's only so much restorers can do. You can't eradicate the effects of an earthquake like this. The consequences remain with the historical buildings, the art, and the people. Now we have to look ahead with courage. Massimo Nicoletti is trying to do just that. The first big earthquake hit here in Finale Emilia on May 20th of last year. The rubble and debris have been cleared away, but there are still traces of destruction. This house is being held together with bands. Finale Emilia is a ghost town. No one is interested in renting or buying in the area. The government is to blame. They only dispense money gradually for fear that it will fall into the wrong hands. But it takes too long and we don't have time. This area will die out. Massimo Nicoletti takes us to the industrial zone. The area is getting back up and running, but the companies have to foot the bill for the rebuilding themselves. No one here had taken out insurance against earthquake damage. It was an entirely unexpected event. No one in the community, the province or the region told us about new building regulations before the earthquake. But they were always concerned with everything else, from hygiene to sound protection. The manufacturer of transmission parts had to invest 600,000 euros into his factory for repairs and safeguarding. The beams are made from steel and concrete and should hold up against another earthquake. If only the factory in neighbouring Madola had done the same. Four workers died here under the rubble. The incident led to prosecution, since the stricter building regulations had been in place in this area for five years. The Po Valley is now an official earthquake zone, but only on paper. Romano Camassi believes that officials and politicians underestimate the risks of earthquakes in Italy. We're still in danger. We have to investigate residential buildings and factories in terms of earthquake safety. Because a powerful earthquake like the one we had a year ago could hit northern Italy again at any time. With devastating results for the economy. Andrea Bombarda produces balsamic vinegar and has had to tear down one of his factories. It was built according to the old building regulations and its demise lost Bombarda millions. Numerous studies turned up after the earthquake talking about the tectonic fault line and the tension in the earth below us. It's been known about since the 80s without anything being done. Either someone was asleep or they kept very quiet. The warehouse managed to withstand the quake. The roof and the vinegar barrels were made of wood, which was able to absorb the shock. But that was not the case of this church in Finale Emilia, where Massimo Nicoletti married. 
He can't believe that one year after the quake, so much still lies in ruins.